Hey guys, I'm awake. So you know, this is how I spend most of my day, just trying to set up. I'm gonna lay down, sit up, go out in the day. So anyway, I'm gonna get up right now. Uh, this is, uh, uh, welcome to episode two of Brain Cancer Diaries. You got some stuff planned for today. Okay guys, so here's the plan. Sorry about the shaky cam. Uh, this is really, I think of this episode more as kind of like episode one, part two. It's gonna be a lot of clips of just confessional stuff, just raw stuff, because I think some people would be interested in seeing my progression. But I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna interrupt it with uh, um, some video of me trying to walk around the block today, big step. I'm actually, one little thing I'll get into that's unique to this episode is I'm wearing my watch today, an activity watch. Some of you know me, I've been getting into triathlon in the last couple of years, where my goals is to uh, run an Ironman before I'm 50. I was supposed to be actually running an Olympic distance triathlon last weekend. Those plans obviously got scrapped, but um, do that next year. And then after that, I'll try to do two half Ironmans and then before 50, do that. none of this, none of this um, uh, cancer stuff is gonna stop me in my, my goals. Anyway, um, here I go. I'm gonna get started here uh, in just a second. Walk around the block. Um, and here's a bunch of videos of me in the hospital being sick in between some stuff from Instagram you've probably seen, but uh, just you kind of get a tr sense of where my progression is. And then episode three, the next one, I'm gonna start getting into some of the more philosophical stuff. So anyway, let's, let's go stand up, I'm gonna get started. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, here we go. Okay, everybody, Freedom Train is on the roll, getting out of the hospital. Average uh, time after brain surgery to get out is four, day, four to five days. I'm doing two days, I'm already ahead of the curve. I got the wrecking crew back here in tow. So I'm ready to beat this thing, find out more information next week. Anyway, I'm feeling good. Thanks everybody for all the love you've been sharing with me and I will give you updates soon. Hey, you got Good morning. It's like day five or so after surgery. I, I'm like, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Shit's kicking my ass, but I'm getting through it. Um. Anyway, thanks for all the love and support. Please keep uh, not, even though I probably don't look that great right now. Every little bit of text message or just responding to the message helps. It helps me feel like I have a lifeline in the outside world. Let's go. These have gone to some dark places, so all the little positivity helps. Thanks. I'm uh, I'm told I'm getting through the worst of the recovery, so hopefully the next time you see it be a little less shocking to see. Sorry, I don't mean to get a rude sharp to anybody's rude shock to anybody's day, but <laughs> uh, more later. Bye. Okay guys, halfway here, feeling pretty good. And wouldn't you fucking know it, this street's all fucking uphill. It's not too bad, but uh, uh, I'm gonna catch my breath for a second and keep going. Halfway through, God, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, this sucks. 
just laying in bed mostly. It's mostly what this is, is just laying around. All right, here we go, day one recovery. I'm in the inpatient facility. Just waiting for my first day of physical therapy. Feeling kind of tired, but I'm excited to get out of the room. The steroids kicking my ass, um, but I'm getting through it. Hoping moving around today helps a lot anyway. So big straight. issues with steroids. Right now I'm seeing about 70, 80% of the room without too much trouble. Uh, the rest of it gets really dizzy. It's tough to move around and get really dizzy really quickly. Anyway, um, voice sounds a little bit stronger today, so I'm glad about that. Looking forward to getting back to normal. Um, just really tired more than anything. But we'll get there. The fight has just begun. Okay, guys. Coming up on street corner number three of four. And it's downhill. I'm so fucking happy about that. Sorry about the swearing. I just am excited. Anyway. Last street, there's uh, no sidewalk in this one either, so I'm gonna pay attention to safety first since I'm a wobbly walker. Uh, see you on side number four. I just finished uh, first few rounds of physical therapy. Kicked my ass, it was really rough. Uh, salty food here is actually something I didn't anticipate. Got a lot of reflux and and just salty food. It just was making me feel crappy. So I'm fighting the steroid, the Decadron. It's no joke, man. That thing rips your stomach apart. So anyway, I'm um, picking a little bit of a snooze in the afternoon. They extended out my first day of, of, of therapy sessions a little bit longer than normal just because they said I was wiped out. So um, anyway, I'm going to get through this. I'm feeling a little bit better already. So I just ate a little bit of lunch. I'm going to lay down and take a nap. Got to shave today. That felt pretty good. I don't know how it looks, but felt felt good just to clean up and be a little human for a bit. Had a lot of problems with it. <laughs> Hiccups today, just trying to calm down right now. It's late at night. I'm um, just uh, you know, doing my thing. It's uh, like day four or something like that. I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm a little tired, but just had some snacks, waiting on breakfast to show up, find out what my schedule is for today. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Lots of downtime. I actually felt really good last night. I was moving around a lot in my bed. I slept on both sides, which is a huge sign. My vision is a lot better, but um, still got a long way to go. I've just been laying down in bed since July 9th, so I gotta get out of this thing and get moving around at some point today. So hopefully that happens. We'll see. I'll get a lot of rest this weekend. I think this next week ahead is gonna be a really good one. Um, long road ahead, but we're getting there one step at a time. Here we are. Not sure what day it is, but I feel like pretty good today. I feel stronger every day. I did a lot of walking today unassisted, so that's great. I feel like I'm getting closer to get out of here. It'd be so good to get just get home. And even if I'm just laying in my own bed and walk around the house a few times a day, switching up rooms, that would be monstrous. But uh, food situations get under him, getting this hiccup situation under control. It's a big thing. I feel like if I get the hiccups under control, everything else is easy. So um, anyway, uh, that's it for now. I might, if I think of anything, I'm getting really emotional. I'm crying a lot. Just thinking about how far I've come in so little time. I mean, little 10 days ago, my wife told me she thought I was probably going to be dead. So and here I am, you know, um, still very much alive and getting stronger every day. I feel like I could almost walk to the bathroom alone. I know it's not a good idea, but I feel like I could do it. So a few more days, hopefully. We'll see. I'm expecting 10 days in in every facility. We'll see. See if we can get the den to more like five or six, but we'll see. I'm not in a rush to get out of here. There is talking about how sometimes people get nervous when it's time to leave, so I don't want to leave too early. I left the hospital too early last time and saw what happened there, so I don't want to go through that again. <coughs> I do feel like I'm through the worst of it, but anyway, um, a new day, just ate breakfast. Just trying to eat real slow to control these hiccups. I think I got them, might have them under control. I just need to go eat real slow, which is hard for me. I've always been a very, very, very fast eater. But I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I'm just right now, I just finished, it's like 8.20. I got occupational therapy in about 40 minutes, so I'm just taking it easy, let my food digest so I can breathe. But the talk about me getting out of here maybe in three, four days, so that would be amazing just to even just sit at home and do this same thing instead of a hospital bed. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. I'm getting there, I'm stronger every day. I almost walked to the bathroom this morning because I was taking forever for them to get me to get to the, just to go to the bathroom. I had to take a dump so bad, but I waited, I was safe. I'm being smart, but this is a challenge for sure. 
I gotta slow down so much more, and I'm a go, 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 go kind of guy, so this has been a real eye-opening, uh, life-changing and perspective-changing. I just gotta slow, slow down. Might be good for me in the long run, who knows, so. Okay, right. guys, I shaved today, so hopefully I look a little healthier. Today was a really great day. I walked unassisted, I went upstairs. Uh, it got cleared for a lot of stuff, I think, tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be able to just get cleared to go in the bathroom without having somebody watch me. Um, that'll be huge. I'm getting a little emotional right now just thinking about like, first time I might be able to exercise on my own. I know it's not gonna be much, but just being able to run like a quarter mile or something, it's gonna be feel so amazing. I just already know, I'm so excited. I just ate dinner, just relaxing a little bit before the nighttime. I like to try to sort of lay low during the night and just sort of rest a lot at night. We'll see if that happens tonight. Um, so far, so good. Keep it going. Anyway, I hope you're doing great. I'm looking forward to the next few. And the next few days are going to be really good. I think I'm going to be turning like a lot of major corners here. I just feel physically so much stronger already today. So, um, so maybe the next couple of days that'll only keep happening. Each day exponential. Each day is a fight. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. My heart goes out to everybody who lives through this. This is a horrible experience, but it's making me a stronger person. Okay, here we go. Sign number four. Uh, crossing the last one. I did it. I'm a, all downhill. Never mind this guy. Never mind me. I'm just recovering from brain surgery guy. Uh, so anyway, oh my God. It's all downhill to my driveway. I'll do one last check-in when I get to the finish line, but I got about 100 yards to go. Oh my God, I'm gonna sleep for about five hours after this. Anyway, I got my watch on, powered me through. Uh, just keep going every day. Uh, just trying to do a little bit more. Thank you everybody out there for all the support and everything, but I'm gonna hit on myself, let me finish first. Okay, some great news today. Looks like God willing, I go home tomorrow. Big thing is just getting through tonight, get some sleep get through do, do everything no big no big issues tonight feeling pretty good right now about going home tomorrow I'm excited super excited about it I'm feeling a lot stronger walked around the block today across the street uh, unassisted so I think if I can do that I can be at home so hopefully everything happens smoothly I just had a great bowel movement so I think I'm good for the night so all right these are the things that that get you excited in life I'm so far, I'm so close to just being home. I'm so excited. Everybody, big moment, getting out of the hospital. Sorry, there's a little weird angle, but I'm just so excited to be leaving the hospital. Thank you for everything, for all the love and support. Everybody's been getting, I've come so far and so little. It's amazing, this has changed my life for the better. It's the hardest thing ever, sorry. But 10 days ago, I was almost dead. Now I'm going home. Got a big afternoon with pathology, so I gotta find the next mountain to climb, but First one, first one is just about, I'm just about over it. All right, I'm right. sitting on the floor right now. I feel a lot better today, I'm feeling pretty psyched up. I'm sure I look a little bit better, but it's still a little kind of crappy, but we're getting there. I'm stretching on the floor right now, I'm trying to sit upright as much as possible. That's the big thing going on. I'm just getting the blood out of my head, just getting me moving around more than anything. I'm gonna try some stuff today. You'll see the video later, hopefully, on Instagram. But anyway, I'm feeling good, feeling a lot better. Um, Slow every day is a little bit better. I'm sure if you looked at all these videos back to back, I probably look a little better in each one, but I know I still got a long way to go. Um, I'm gonna keep, uh, keep it. Are you rolling? Yes. All right, good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and Okay guys, 10 days ago, somebody else had to wipe my ass for me. So I did that today for you. Keep pushing me, and I'll keep pushing every day a little bit stronger. Have a good one. Hey guys, just gonna take a quick walk with my best girl. Me and Cecily, we're gonna go out. Uh, Let's so see how this goes. I'm really excited about it. Okay 
you guys. Just sitting here with the kids in the sunroom. After dinner, trying to be calm, feeling better every day, a little bit stronger. My hair's looking kind of crazy tonight, but uh, well, it's good. Anyway, uh, just checking in. I'm going to lay low tonight. My eyes are feeling a lot better, a lot less dizzy, just still moving slow, but moving faster, so that's good. Hey, a little dark, but I just wanted to... It took me about an hour, 45 minutes, so, but I just showered completely alone, shaved afterwards. I feel really good. It was slow, but I got it done. I felt like a human being. It was awesome. I just got it done. I did it all alone, no help. Nobody even in the bathroom, all alone. I felt good. Okay, guys, doing a walk again today. Got my Connection Rio hat on for you guys, for Dennis. Sunglasses on, I feel a little bit better today. I'm gonna go try to go a little bit farther. Here we go. Okay guys, just sit, laying in bed, decent day. Went out for a walk, I'm getting stronger every day. I'm a little tired, my eyes are having trouble focusing, but I'm getting there. Tomorrow I got a big day plan, go to the doctor, got some visitors, I'm gonna keep working on my eyes. Right, okay guys, I'm in the middle of my walk right now. Special surprise, I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm wearing pants i'm a full dress i'm a regular human being today anyway uh thanks for everything i, I actually went down the stop sign almost back home i didn't want to bog down with all the little stuff but anyway you guys thank you for everything hey guys sorry about the dark video but a little lazy anyway um end of a day we're just about three weeks out from my second surgery feeling pretty good i got my ass kind of kicked by some kale today kind of a strange thing but things you learn um, but I'm feeling better now I'm really tired vision's been pretty good um, it's fairly active today not as active as I would have liked but you know every day's better than the last so that's it for now okay guys sitting in my room I'm getting ready to get a little bit of energy up to go for a walk this is one of the big challenges is just the, the laying down versus getting up and forcing me to do that little something a little bit of burst of activity for half an hour, but it makes a big difference when I do it. So anyway, I'm about to get up, put my shoes on. I got dressed. Pretty good morning. I'm feeling pretty good today, but I'm going to take a quick walk and then maybe come back down and take another nap. But getting there, fatigue level, I feel like I'm a good solid 50% right now, up from 20 to 30. I think before when I was saying I was 30% weakness, I was really much weaker than that. But I'm moving around the house really well today, so I'm happy about that. Okay, guys, getting ready to start another day. About to take a shower. Just getting up. It's like 9 a.m. Uh, I've already been up, ate breakfast and stuff. She did the dishes this morning, so I felt pretty good about that. I'm a little tired today, but overall, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually going to try going to the gym today, so that's a big, big thing, big thing. Anyway, uh, that's yeah, it for a Big step. I'm going to be on a machine today. A big shout-out to Stretch. Chris Moore is helping me out here. Took me to the gym. We're gonna up the intensity a little bit. We'll go super slow, take it easy. This is a test. I just need to, I'm ready to go to the next level. So, let's you know how it goes in the post. Okay, I just finished my workout. Uh, first time in the gym. Again, big shout out to Stretch Chris Morris. I worked on this machine. Didn't set any lane speed records, but hey man, I made it out in public. It's pretty crazy. Worked on a machine at the gym, so I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks. Thanks for all the support. Getting stronger every day. I know it's a weird video. I'm actually feeling pretty good, but one part of my recovery is actually getting naps, and I have a hard time shutting my brain off, so I'm just recording this moment. Got to turn on music um, just to clear my head because my brain doesn't want to stop thinking, but my body is tired. I need to let my helpers help my brain get better. Even though I'm feeling good, I still need to get my rest in. Later. All right, guys, I did it. Got our little wonky, super liberal sign in the background, but hey, man, I'm a commie pinko. I really have one vo voter issue. If you really want to know, all people deserve to be treated with dignity, kindness. It's kind of what Professor Banth is about, spreading kindness, love, treat everybody with respect. It doesn't matter the color of their skin, brown, black, white, yellow, brown, disability level. Hey, man, we're all in this together. This is a huge struggle. Uh, anyway, <laughs> off my soapbox for a minute right now this is about me like i said i have to have a goal to do an iron man by the time i'm 50. kind of also would like to get back into jujitsu maybe compete a couple times at black belt level maybe even finally win an ibjjf black belt level match dreams can't come true i was never a great competitor but i was okay anyway uh 
Thank you for all the support out there. Um, I'm exhausted. Thank you. This is huge. Today, today around the block, tomorrow, an Ironman. Uh, let's beat some cancer.